Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to change a router bit in an Axis CNC router. This is the router, the spindle on the CNC router. And underneath here, that's where the spindle goes. And this is the router bit that needs to be changed. It's getting dull. And so the first thing we need to do is come over to the keypad and we need to press F34 to unload the spindle. So the tool holder comes up and the spindle ejects the tool onto the tool holder. Okay, so the next step is we have to press F32 used to load or unload the automatic tool changer. So we're going to press F, oops, sorry about that, F32. And it's the one we want to change is in tool holder position number one. So we're going to press point one. And that pushes up tool number one. So now we're ready to take this out. We can just manually grab this. This is the tool. So this is the tool we're using, on route. So this is the existing tool holder with the old bit in there. And on this Axis CNC, it comes with this tool changer thing here. So you insert the tool, you push down on the plunger, and it locks it into place. It's going to take the wrench. like a double lock on it so you can do it by hand but then you got to use the wrench again. This will come right off. Take this all the way off. You see all the dust? It builds up in there. It's filthy inside there. So you need to take a scotch fright pad. This is a, a maroon scotch fright pad. I just roll it up a little bit and you clean inside here. You want that super smooth because that the tool and the collet don't sit tight. Nice and smooth. I also clean this portion here, the cone top part of the tool. Or this is the part that goes up inside the spindle. You can see it's all nice. Okay, so the next step is I put this back in the tool holder. And then we gotta remove the bit. Don't need that anymore. These things snap inside here. Sometimes they're hard to get out because there's so much dust. You see all the dust inside there? And there's dust inside these fins here. So with these, I take a knife. And get all that cleaned out. Nice and clean. Super smooth. No dirt inside these little gaps. Let me clean that out. Okay, and then we need to get this.
Okay, so that's that's nice and clean. Then we just put this collar back in there, snaps into place, like that. Okay. Then we got the brand new, the brand new router bit. We're just gonna slide it in to the collet. And I'm real close to the edge here. See how this is the start of the router bit right here? I like to leave that away from the face of the collet a little bit. That's probably a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Okay, the next step is we're going to just screw this back on. Just hand tighten it and readjust this, make sure it's in the right spot. So hand tighten it, but don't get it super, super tight. Like you want to use your strength to, to tighten it, but you don't want to like hit it with a hammer. So that's the new setup. Okay, so now we're going to put this back into so we now, we've got the, the new router bit on the collet and the tool holder and we're going to put it back inside the, the tool changer here. And we put it uh, router bit down like that. And now you're going to press OK. Lowers it back down in there. Okay, and the final step is we have to calibrate this. So right here, F25 is set the height of a specific tool. So we're tool number one. So we're going to press F25.1. We're going to press OK. The spindle is going to go over there and pick up tool number one. It's going to lock it into the spindle. So now the spindle has picked up the tool, tool number one, and we need to calibrate it. And when we calibrate it, the spindle is going to drop this tool down until it touches this sensor right here. And the sensor is going to calibrate the height of that tool in relation to the entire CNC. So once it's done, it doesn't have to be done again until you change the tool. So the keypad is now asking us if we want to measure the height of tool number one. We're going to press OK. The spindle lowers the tool down to the sensor. So it touches it the first time fast and it does like a real recalibration flow. And that's ready to go. And that's how you change the router bit in an Axis CNC router. Hope this video helped. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. See you on the next one.